Twitter, I actually came across an ad in a, or an article in the newspaper in Georgetown um, asking for uh, artists to make uh, proposals for a mural. So I, uh, I thought it was a long shot, but I thought I'd give it a give it a try anyhow. And I submitted my vision of what uh, what what I thought would work based on what they were asking for. They wanted something that would uh, uh, cover World War I, World War II, the Korean War, peacekeeping, and the current era of uh, the armed forces, uh, focusing on their work in Afghanistan. And, and also, I, I inspected the building. You could, you could come up with any design, but it has to be suitable to whatever building you're, you're attaching it to. But, uh, it had to be removable. They would like to, at some point, renovate the building in, in a detachable uh, an, an aluminum composite panel, which at this time seems to be the, the most durable and um, the best choice for our weather conditions to make the paint adhere at a part of the surface. That includes sanding them down and then covering them with a, a very high-end uh, primer bonder, which is almost like a glue. There's 16 panels, so it's, when you put them all together, it's a huge area, so it's quite intimidating to begin. And uh, so I had to um, launch into it at some point, and it was August 11th of this year that I, um, that I began the project, knowing that everything had to be done by and mounted and ready to go, prepared for the ribbon cutting on November 11th. So I had three months to complete all these paintings and get them delivered and get them mounted on the wall. It's hard to get, to get right into it, so I found the, uh, the best approach was just to grab as large a paintbrush as possible and just stick it in a can of paint, just slap on the paint as, as much as I can and just cover a huge area and not worry about detail at first. These uh, uh, panels that are 8 feet uh, tall and 4 feet wide and I've got 16 of them to paint, so it's an amazing amount of work. And, but uh, a few coffees later I usually got my motivation back up and uh, just uh, I knew that the that I wanted to do as good a job as possible to properly you know honor these people who sacrificed a lot more than I did so um, that was my motivation to be as accurate as I as I could be I, I had to do uh, many hours of research and I really learned a lot about our history and um, all the uh, contributions that uh, Canada has made throughout the world when I started to actually paint the people, uh, I found that um, um, I would be rendering them and uh, you know struggling a bit with the, the, the whole process and and sometimes I found the phases weren't quite right and I I scrub them out and paint them again and I found it, I didn't like that one and I I paint right over top and start again and then. Somehow, once in a while, something magical happened, and, and the person kind of emerged from all that painting that it created, and and uh, and with a certain expression that I just felt was kind of honest and real. I'm I'm still quite nervous about it because uh, until the thing is up on the wall and secured and ready to go, and I think I'll feel better right after the ribbon cutting. That's when I'll be able to finally take a deep breath and relax. Party. Ladies and gentlemen, what you see displayed before you has taken about two and a half years to put together. There's been a lot of dedicated work and a lot of dedicated people who have worked towards this.
Bye.